Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Web EV Talk series. Come, welcome back again. It's the 21st September 2021. And we don't have that many guests from China. So it's my pleasure today to have Professor Seng Lin Huang from Fudan University, Shanghai Cancer Center and Institute of Biomedical Science in China. Come and join us to uh, present a lecture on enumerating the tissue cellular origin of circulating EVs. So Professor Huang has been focused on the discovery and functional elucidation of new targets for cancer diagnosis and treatment. He discovered the long RNA cargo in EVs and its application in cancer diagnosis. He also established the X, extracellular uh, XLR sequence EV origin and XOR based database. I guess um, we will find out more about these databases from Professor Huang today. Um, before we start with that, uh, I'd like to thank Horiba Scientific, who is our sponsor for this session today. So with that, uh, I'll stop my screen share. Thank you. I'm Sun Fang from uh, Fudan University Shanghai Cancer Center. Today, I will talk about the arranging of circulating EV by EV long RNA. Uh, my talk includes four parts. I will briefly introduce the background of exosomes and EV. Then by using our developed ESLI seq analysis, I will talk about the detection and characterization of EV long RNAs, named as ESLIs. In the third part, I will mainly talk about the EV arrangement and the cancer diagnosed by ESLIs. Finally, I will introduce our newly updated ESLI-based database and its application. Today, we are continuing to see the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic around the world and realize the huge capability of virus and the difficult to deal with. Indeed, the Exosome is very similar to virus in terms of the size, components, and the function. Exosomes or EV is a hot topic in recent research area field. You may note that it's important load and promising application. However, when you really enter this field, you will also experience the hardiness to deal with exosomes. Extra several EVs have vessels, many include microvessels, MVS, and exosomes. The biogenesis of MVS is relatively simple, which results from the membranes budding. Therefore, the membranes protein of MV are similar to cell such as in integrins, various receptors. The biogenesis of exosomes contained several steps, including an endocytosis to endosome, then forms the multiple vascular bodies, MV, MVBs, and some MVBs can be mediated by protein, such as RBIB, uh, 27 to relieve the exosomes. The membrane protein of exosomes contain some specific exosome marker like uh, CD9 or CD13, uh, which are different from MVS. Although they are different biogenesis and the components of exosomes and MVS, they are difficult to distinguish from most of current isolation approaches. Therefore, now usually named as EV or small EV instead of exosomes. Recent studies have showed that EVS have important roles in different human diseases, including cancer, cardiometabolic disease, neurologic Digest and in precious digest, particularly in cancer, 
if we have loss in chemo, chemo, uh, therapy resistant on oncogenesis and loss in tumor immunity, uh, immunity and uh, metastasis. Uh, there is a paper published in Nature last year, which is a good example to show the function of exosomes. The host cells, like non cells, can relieve exosomes that serve as takers for bacterially produced toxins, provide insight into a mechanism whereby host cells deploy exosomes as they cause the threat toxin to avoid cell damage. This finding highlights the function of exosomes in microenvironment. And the exosomes are small membranes of vesicles secreted by most cells. The side of exosomes is about 30 to 200 nanometer, which is similar to virus. And the MVS about 100 to uh, 10 hundred nanometer. We know that one cell is about 10 micro mi micrometer, which is 100 fold of exosomes in diameter. Therefore, about one million exosomes are equal to one cell in volumes. Exosomes contain a waste cargo of potent and different RNA species that can mediate cell to cell communications. And the exosomes or EVS, including cancer EVS, are present in body fluids and can be easily detected. In cancer liquid bioset, uh, often only a few or less than CTC in eight milliliter of blood. And the CTDNA contains usually less than 1%. However, for EVS, we know there may be more than 10 to the power of nine in one millimeter of plasma. If there is only one per 10,000, there are still more than 10,000 cancer divide EVS in one millimeter of plasma. Therefore, exosomes host great promise as normal biomarker for clinical di diagnosis. And then we have talked about the detection and characterization of SSM or EV long RNA with an ES or IS. In EVS, there are various types of RNA species According to the length, we can divide it into small and long RNA species. For, for the small RNA, including microRNA, tsRNA, and pyRNA, they are usually low quantity, uh, less than 1,000, uh, but with high expression and could be functional media depths. For long RNA, including messenger RNA, link RNA, and the secure RNA, there are a large amount of long RNAs, more than 10,000, but usually low expression and may serve as biomarkers because they contain some specific RNAs. There are many reports for small RNAs, and we are focusing on long RNAs. And uh, we named the exosome or EV long RNA as ESR. There are quite a few reports about SMOD, message RNA, and link RNA. Importantly, the exosome diagnosis company had launched the products to clinic, 
which includes the allocated fusion detected in blood of non cancer patients. And the three RNAs, ERG, PCS3, and SPDEF in the urine exosomes. And we discovered for the first time that the sexual RNA is enriched in exosomes compared with cells and is stable in exosomes during incubation for 25, 24 hours. We observed the blood exosome sexual RNA could distinguish the cancer patients from normal patients. However, in this study, we use more than 10 milliliters of plasma combined from different patients for one exosome RNA sequencing. And therefore, we further developed an ultimate strategy for ESLR sequencing named ESLR seq of human plasma. The most critical of this approach is in the long RNA library preparation, in which we amplify all the RNA species, including ribosome RNA, and then use CRISPR Cas9 to deplete DS DNA from the ribosome RNA, and amplified with PCR again to attempt the final library. More than 10,000 ESRIs, including messenger RNA, sexual RNA, and link RNA, were reliably detected in each ESRI six samples from one microliter of plasma. We use question ESRI and EZ kit to isolate the plasma EV and RNA, electron mi microscopy imagined and say distribution measurements showed the isolated vessels are membranes en enclosed with a an average diameter of 87 nanometer. And also Western blood confirmed the enrichment of exosomal marker in the isolated vessels, but not in PBMC. In the plasma EV RNA sequencing result, we observed that protein coding RNA, messenger RNA, comprised most of the total map risk. Other RNA types accounted for a small fraction for each ESLI sample. We detached about 12,000 messenger RNA, 5,000 sequel RNA, 1,000 link RNA, and 700 pseudo genes. Previous reports have indicated that uh, uh, the EV RNA are fragmented. However, in our analysis, we found that about 20% of the exosomal messenger RNA are intact, in which they have 100% coverage. This result should be further validated by using like wireless RNA sequencing. We also observed that the length of exosomal messenger RNA is relatively shorter than latched in cells. In the uh, ESLI analysis, we also confirmed that sexual RNA are abundant and enriched in blood EVS. Interestingly, in some gene locus, the major sequ uh, sequencing signaling in EVS is sexual RNA isoforms. And also, a total of 1,300 ginger bias ESLI were identified, among them about 100 main specific RNAs were 
encoded from Y chromosomes, while the female bears just RNA was divided from X chromosomes. We also identified about 500 aging related ESRIs, including about 200 positively correlated and 300 negative correlated RNAs. These ESRIs are gradually changed with ages. Importantly, we found that about 30% of tissue specific genes can be observed in the, in the ESRI seeked from health individuals. We further observed that the liver specific genes were significantly enriched in the patients with SCC compared with health in individuals. These results suggest that ESRIs may reflect the tissue origin, uh, origins. And here I would like to introduce our another finding about the tumor specific transcripts. We developed a new bioinformatics approach to detect RNA expression termed assembling spice junction analysis. In this analysis, uh, focused on spice junction, including linear best spice and Hussein junction with unique ID junction position and uh, expression level. We performed this analysis for 10,000 cancer samples and established the RNA spice junction database, RGM based. We discovered more than 30,000 potential TST candidates, which may serve as specific markers for cancer diagnosis. And uh, we observed uh, 40 TSTs that can be detected in the blood EVS of SCC patients. About 16% of the SCC patients have at least one TST in the blood EVS. We confirmed that TST1 can be detected in the plasma of new mice transplanted with TST1 expressed cells. On performing QRT-PCR search, we observed that TST1 was frequently expressed in the blood EVS of SCC patients, but not in those in, of health controls. We also noted that the expression of TST1 reduced sharply out of surgery. This result shows that TSTs may be safe as potentially specific biomarkers for cancer detection. And uh, for this part to be summarized, we showed abundant blood ESRIs, including mentioned GI, CQI, and link I. And the blood ESRIs may reflect cell or tissue of a region. And we showed tumor specific transcripts may be detected in blood EVS. The next part is about the EV arrangement and the cancer diagnosis by ESRIs. We established EV arrangement for enumerating the tissue cellular arrangement of circulating EVS using ESRI profile. This approach includes three steps. The, the signature construction, including the different blood cells and uh, tissue specific genes. Then the model selection. We use SVR method. And finally, 
calculate the relative or absolute fraction for seven types of blood cell and 16 types of tissues. We use the tissue and seek DTEX data to obtain uh, 810 tissue specific genes, TSGS. These specific genes have different expression patterns and frequency distribution in the ESRI samples. We selected 95 candidate TSGs, which represented 16 types of tissues. For the convolution model, we evaluate the robustness of these models on blood and the tissue matrix. We observed that the support vector regression SVM model has the higher PCC and the lower MSE of accept results. Therefore, we use SVM in the EV arrangements. For the blood cell arrangements, we noticed the fraction can be quite different in serum and plasma from the same person. In serum, the platelet contained most of the fraction. Also, the different time collection of plasma could also be changed. This result highlights to pay attention to the blood collection and suggests the using plasma and collect it within two hours. For the 16 tissue arrangement, we calculate about uh, calculate 19 past patients. We observed that adipose had the highest fraction, about 80%. Then is the muscle, about 6%. The set is round and the liver. We also examine the heterogeneous source contribution of plasma EVS in diverse hepatic disease. We observe that the liver fraction of EV arranging is significantly higher in SCC compared with other disease or normal individuals suggesting the, the, the apparent liver fraction could reflect the development and the progression of hepatitis disease. Then I will talk about the application of blood ESLIs in the cancer diagnosis, subtyping, and the prognosis using pancreas cancer, PDAC, as an example. We conducted a case control study with 500 participants, including 284 patients with PDAC, 100 patients with Chromid pancreatitis and uh, 117 health subjects. About 15,000 annotated genes were reliably detected in each sample. Numbers of the detected and species denote significantly differed between groups 
a three di dimension data scale plot revealed that the, the, the ESR performance of PDAC patients generally differ from those of health individuals and some CP patients. KEGG pathway analysis reveals that the differentially expressed ESRs are enriched for some pathways involved in cancer. This result suggested that ESRs have potential as biomarkers for the detection of PDAC. We then developed a D signature that includes eight ESRIs for PDAC detection. The D signature show high accuracy in the training in 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 internal in in internal validation and as external validation cohort. The D signature was able to identify the step one to cancer with the, an, a high AU sheet in the combined three cohorts. In addition, the D signature showed superior performance to CA99 in distinguished PDSC from CP. And uh, the com combination of this signature and the CA99 has a better performance. By using the, the ESR profiles, the PDS patients can be classified into three subtypes as significant, shorter overall survival time in cluster, in, in cluster three subtypes. The molecular function analysis revealed that the cluster three subtypes was enriched in cell proliferation, metabolism, and immune-related pathways. With the EV arrangement approach, we observed that the levels of innate and ad ad adaptive immunogenetic fraction, cell fractions were both significantly upregulated in cluster three subtypes compared with the other subtypes, indicating that cluster three subtype patients may have potential for immunotherapy. We uh, further constructed a nine ESRI-based prognostic signature for tracking PDAC clinical outcome, both in, in internal and external cohort. The P signature had significant pre Prediction. Importantly, this P signature can also apply in tissue, in the paired tissue and the TCGA cohorts. The P signature still has great potential for predicting PDAC clinical outcome, including for pre predicting risk of recurrence after surgery. So in, in this part, we showed the ESRIs for tissue cellular arrangements of EVs and the uh, uh, ESRIs could be saved as di diagnostic and the prognostic biomarker for cancer. And the, uh, in the Last part, I will introduce our recent updated ESRI-based database and its application. 
and now the, they have some online EV database. For example, the uh, Exxon Carter, the first EV database containing Exxon protein and the MI cargoes. The vesicle PDF collects more database and also contained protein and iron species. The SSMR uh, based we, we developed is mainly focusing on the blood SSM or EV long iron species. And for the EV micro and the ES RNA ultras, there are many collected the micro RNA targets. We established ESRI based in uh, 2017. This database has received a greater than 70,000 universal vis visitors and uh, has been highly cited by researchers. And we had just updated to the, uh, the second version, which is an air type of messenger link eye and second in EV from uh, different human biofluids. Compared with uh, first version, the sample has a second feature increase from uh, less 100 to about 1,000. And also besides blood samples, we added other human biofluids, including the urine, CFS, and the bio samples. The blood samples obtained from 15 groups, including health participants, patients with benign disease, and the different cancer types. Importantly, we also cover the enrichment scores of uh, about 11,000 pathways and uh, provides the relative and absolute dis distribu the distribution of 16 types of tissues and uh, 23 types of blood cells produced by EV arrange approach. In the updated database, we use our developed ASJ methods to analyze all the low energy data and make the annotation and the visualization of messenger link and the sequin expression and also the password and the tissue cell arrangements. In the browse session, there are uh, four web pages for user to browse messenger, link, sequin, password, or tissue cell arrangements. And user can browse ESRI in this database with different filters. Uh, users can search their uh, messenger, link, secret, password, or tissue cell arrangements of interest by entering a, a common separate list. And in the detailed information of a specific ESRI, including the summary, profile, and the com comparison three pages. On the profile pages, the expression level uh, profile of an ESRI across all by fruit sample groups will be uh, visualized with a boss plot. In Com comparison pages, 
users can choose different costs to compare. For EV arrangements, user can explore desired tissue or save tab on the browse and the search pages. The relative or absolute abundance of 16 tissue arrangements and 23 blood cell arrangements are included. And we have extended the blood cell types from seven to 23 types in the website. We support the visualization, not only the absolute fraction of tissue or cell arrangements for comparison between the different cohorts, but also the relative fraction of tissue cell arrangements for comparisons in each sample. And so uh, for today's uh, talk in, in summary, today I talk about the EV long eye ESRIs. We developed the ESRI SIG EV arrangement and the SJ approaches for ESRI analysis. We detected the enrichment and present. Uh, Presences of circuit and uh, tumor specific transcripts TST in EVS. We showed that ESLIs could be applied in the diagnosis, subtyping, and the pro prognosis of cancers. We also established the ESLI database. ESLI based and updated to new version. And we are now uh, discovering the more specific ESLIs for EV arrangements and uh, disease biomarkers. And finally, I would like to thank our members of the laboratories of cancer genetics and uh, epigenetist at Fudan University. And also today is Chinese Mid-Autumn Fest Festival. It's a day of pleasure and happiness. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Uh, thank you very okay. much, Professor Huang for your presentation today. And um, yeah, especially thanks so much also for uh, uh, agreeing to give a talk during the Mid Autumn Festival. I was totally like, uh, didn't remember that it's, it's the case. So thanks so much for taking time during that holiday and still coming to give presentation to us. So I'd like to invite uh, everyone who wants to uh, ask questions to Professor Huang. Maybe uh, I'll start a little bit. Um, with a few questions. So um, I think uh, one, one of the ch uh, main challenges for the extracellular vesicles uh, research, especially from those um, derived from bi the biofluid um, is the, um, the isolation and purification. So I'm just wondering whether uh, you can give us a little bit of information on um, how, how you compile this uh, from the plasma, uh, can you explain a little bit about the isolation process before uh, you do the sequencing? Okay, yeah. So in we instead we try many many steps from. Okay, I I the screen is is over. Yeah. Uh, so for the for the isolation, instead we we try many uh, approaches, but what we do is for RNA sequencing especially for the long RNA sequencing. So uh, finally, we use the, uh, the question, the, uh, is excellent R easy uh, for the, uh, and the, the vessel, uh, the exosome, I, uh, I think it's EV now, now it's the EV isolation and the RNA 
uh, preparation. Uh, uh, the most important, I think, is the, the time. For use the, the question kit, uh, is less one hour. And, and for, for the EV and ion isolation, but usually, usually for the traditional method, I think if it, it lasts many uh, for a long time. So in that case, if you do the long RNA uh, detection or RNA sequencing, uh, from the tra tra traditional way, I, we have tried, um, but, but usually the library, in the library uh, preparation, all, all, always I think for one half, half of the isolation or preparation is fair. But instead, if you use a quick isolation method, for example, for from the question I easy uh, the kit, we, we now we can only use the one or less one um, mag, uh, magliter or plasmid for the long RNA sequencing. Yeah. Mm, okay, thank you. And uh, how about the uh, tissue specificity? Um, how do you determine uh, the tissue specificity, whether you, um, I guess I'm assuming that uh, based on my uh, current work, there's a lot of cases where the RNA they are found in the vesicles is not really the one that is expressed in the tissue. So I was um, wondering how, how sure it is that um, the RNA that you uh, get from the biofluid can really show the uh, the origin. Can you comment a little bit about that? Okay, yeah, th this is a, a good question. And uh, for the tissue specific gene, I think that uh, our EV arrangement is most uh, best on the tissue of cell specific genes. And for this gene, uh, we we first uh, uh, discovered from the tissue. Uh, like the TTS, uh, the RNAC data. Um, but uh, just mentioned uh, in EV, there is not uh, one, uh, I think it's one to one, or the, all, all the specific gene is present in EVS. And so we, we do a, a com 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 comparison, uh, uh, for example, in the, in the tissue, uh, we discovered about 1,000 tissue specific genes. But finally, in EV arranging in the approach, we just used one about 100. And that, that means that many of the tissue specific genes in tissues does not express in EVS. And, uh, and uh, you just mentioned that uh, is it, uh, it could it re represent for the tissues? I think uh, the most important is the is the the, the specific And uh, if the marker, for example, we are, we are quite interested in the liver, and in liver there are, there are many uh, specific liver genes like the LOB or or some uh, liver specific gene, uh, and uh, and. The, we can form the several of these specific genes can be detected in EVS. So, so I I think this can be can be done for 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 the arrangement. But but if we can uh, detect directly from EV, for example, in the member uh, in uh, liver divide EV, and then do the EV sequencing. And to detect the 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 EV divided from the liver, and and I think we can uh, get the more specific genes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you uh, looked into the small RNA as well? Can we use the same strategy for the small RNA? I think. Uh, long RNA probably give us more insight in, in terms of tissue origin, but I was just wondering whether you look also uh, for the small RNA. Okay, uh, about the small RNA, I think is many reports have, 
published uh, in the EV or exosome, the small RNA. But, but I, I mentioned that the small RNA, the, the, the amount, the number of small RNA is, is quite, uh, I think is not many. Uh, in EV, I think in human, only, only several hundred of small RNA, uh, micro RNA in EVs. And, and there is not many or quite quite a number of for the specific uh, micro RNA. For example, in uh, if you want 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 to tracking or for the arranging of the different tissues, uh, there you you cannot form the the, the, the enough small RNA or micro RNA for the specific. Uh, uh, targets uh, for for the tissues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go back and thank you, Professor Huang, for the presentation today and also for sharing the database. So with that, uh, I like to conclude the sessions and thanks so much, Professor Huang, and I hope you enjoy your holiday. <laughs>